scoring first professional goal at just 17 to delivering a remarkable hat trick at international stage. Here is Hoyland! It's the hat trick! Rasmus Hoyland, a 20 year old wonder kid, has made his mark to becoming the main striker for Man United. People have started calling him the Danish Erling Holland due to his similar qualities. He is the youngest player to score a hat trick for Denmark in a UEFA tournament. But the real question is, what is his actual playing style and whether he truly fulfilled his potential? Let's find out and take a look into his career, strengths and weaknesses. Born on 4th of February 2003 in the city of Copenhagen, Hollund had an unshakable passion for football from a very early age, something he inherited from his father Anders Hollund, who nurtured his son's footballing aspirations. From the time he was a child, he loved Man United very much. Plus, he also really admires Ronaldo as an idol to him. As a youngster, Rasmus spent his developmental years at a local club named Brownby before moving on to FC Copenhagen's youth system. He scored an impressive 15 goals in 22 games for the club's under-19s. He quickly rose through the ranks, making his professional debut for Copenhagen at just 17. However, it was a move to Austria's Sturmgras that really put him on the footballing map. In just six months, he left a lasting impact scoring an impressive 12 goals in 21 games. His spectacular performances did not go unnoticed, and then Atlanta signed him in August 2022, and he didn't take long to adjust to the rigors of Italian football. He netted nine goals with an XG of 9.5, showcasing his reliability as a genuine goal threat. Rasmus Hoyland gets his fifth of the season. And finally in March 2023, Rasmus earned his first senior cap for Denmark. He announced his arrival on the international stage with an astounding five goals in just two games. Rasmus Hoyland! It's now five goals in two games! But what sets him apart from other strikers is his playing style and qualities. Hoyland is not your average center forward. He's part of the new breed of strikers who are redefining the role. Standing tall at six foot three, Rasmus is an aerial threat. He leverages his height and strength to challenge defenders, making the most of set pieces and capitalizing on crosses. Even with this height, his pace is remarkable. Hoyland's ability to reach top speeds in a matter of seconds puts tremendous pressure on defenders as they struggle to keep up with his quick movements. Even Atlanta's manager Gasparini said in an interview that Rasmus ran 100 meters in just 11 seconds during their recent training session, which proves his extraordinary agility and speed. When he is in a one-on-one -on -one situation with a defender, he skillfully knocks the ball past the opponent, utilizing his explosive speed to race clear. With this touch, he sets himself up for the shot, results in an emphatic finish. One of his signature dribbling moves is the Ronaldo chop. It's a move made iconic by Cristiano Ronaldo. It's a swift change of direction that sends defenders sprawling the wrong way. Look at the play in Ronaldo. It is Ronaldo! It's 2-1 United! Just like Ronaldo, Hoyland has used this technique frequently. This opens up space for him to skillfully navigate past his opponents. What sets Hoyland apart even further is his versatility on the pitch. He can operate as a forward, winger, or even an attacking midfielder. This makes him a valuable asset to Ten Hag as he can deploy him strategically based on different scenarios. And a partnership with the likes of Rashford and Bruno could form a lethal attacking trio at Old Trafford. Moreover, Hoyland's strong link-up play and his preference for central zones during attacks could have a positive impact on Rashford's role at United. With Hoyland as a potent striker, Rashford may have the opportunity to return to his favored left-sided position, making the team's attack more versatile and dynamic. Now, you might be wondering how he measures up against Erling Haaland? Well, both players have a similar build which aids their style of play. Haaland stands at 6'4", while Hoyland is just slightly shorter at 6'3", and both are left-footed. At Atlanta, manager Gasparini had praised Hoyland by comparing him to Haaland in terms of spirit, energy, and technical quality. He believes Rasmus has the potential for a great career and will only get stronger with time. But let's not get carried away. Holland is currently in a league of his own. His ability to anticipate plays, position himself strategically, and scoring everything that comes to him is nothing short of extraordinary. Holland arriving. Holland! 
On the other hand, Hoyland is still in the early stages of his career, and at just 20 years old, he can be considered a diamond in the rough. He had an impressive record of 13 goals and 24 appearances, and has a passing completion of 77% against Holland's 80%. In terms of shots per 90, Hoyland achieved 2.4 shots per 90, while Holland possesses 3.8. But what sets him apart from Erling is his exceptional touch and dribbling skills on the ball. Unlike Holland, he is more open to using his weaker foot, with close to 25% of his efforts coming from his right foot. He also has a desire to stay in central areas during attacks. This allows him to capitalize on goal-scoring opportunities. Rasmus also has a higher pressing rate as a striker. He has scored numerous goals by putting intense pressure on the opposition defense. That's the another reason Ten Hag wanted him in his system. However, like any player, he has some weaknesses. One area where Rasmus can improve is his decision-making on the field. There are moments when he tends to make impulsive choices, such as taking on players when a pass would be a better option. While Hoyland's shot accuracy is high, he's not putting away his chances with the same clinical precision like Erling. So he needs to work on finishing with both feet. But as he continues to develop and refine his skills, we can only expect greater things from him. His potential to be the next big thing in football is undeniable. But as we all know, potential is one thing, fulfilling it is another. So only time will tell whether he will be the striker that United needed it for years. With Hoyland's arrival, Ten Hag has found a new system for Man United, which will transform United into an aggressive attacking force, like his Ajax side. So what is his new tactic? Let's find out by clicking this video.